Nearly one million people in the U.S. are living with multiple sclerosis. The disease causes progressive muscle weakness and can eventually lead to paralysis. Right now, there is no cure, but some upcoming fundraising events are hoping to change that. Fox 12's Deborah Gill has one Providence patient's story ahead of two Walk MS events. And the first time I went, I was so overwhelmed. There were thousands of people there supporting the MS movement. And I just, re I just, for the first time, I didn't feel alone. Marta Burwell was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2008 after waking up one morning with a loss of vision in one eye. My optic nerve was inflamed. And I was like, well, what causes that? And they said, well, in 20%, we don't really know, but in 80%, it can be suggestive of MS. And I was like, wow. Marta was referred to the Providence MS Center and became a patient of Dr. Stanley Cohan. He tells us symptoms can be like Marta's or completely different, but is three times more likely to strike women. What happens to a person who has multiple sclerosis is that their own immune system attacks their brain and, sp and spinal cord. It can result in loss of vision. It can result in weakness, loss of balance, vertigo or problems with sensation, as well as pain. Dr. Cohan founded the Providence MS Center in 2001 with himself and one nurse. It is now the largest MS Center in the Northwest. And over the last 22 years, he and his colleagues have been part of groundbreaking research. Marta says over the years, that has led to improved medicines that really help her. I'm a walker and I go out every day and I feel very lucky that I can. We've gotten to the point now we're using the highest efficacy medications. We can pretty much stop new attacks from occurring at all. Much of the research is funded by the National MS Society through things like Walk MS. But both Dr. Cohan and Marta say the walks give so much more. Number one, it's a community. It's a gathering together of people who care to have a joyous day they're terrific fun and um, to sort of be verified in a way that they are important what they have wrong with them is important I felt so much support and that I wasn't alone and I didn't have to do this by myself Deborah Gill good day Oregon and the first walk MS event is scheduled for this Saturday it begins at Clark College at 10 a.m. the next one will be Saturday May 18th at the Moda Center that one also scheduled to start at 10 a.m.